In today's quick fire IGCSE and GCSE chemistry video, we're going to be looking at balancing equations. As always, listen to my question, pause the video, write down your answer and see if it matches mine. This isn't a video where I'm showing you the method. The whole point is that it's a, it's a quick check of your knowledge. So if you do need help balancing equations, check out one of my other videos because I'm going to be using the inspection method here. So I'm just going to be looking at the equation and working out the answer. So let's start with question one. Balance iron plus hydrochloric acid, which forms iron chloride and hydrogen. And that is it balanced. Now let's check this one out. So we've got zinc, one on each side, two hydrogens on each side, one sulfur on each side, four oxygens on each side. It's a trick question. It's already balanced. Now we're balancing calcium reacting with water to form calcium hydroxide and hydrogen. I can immediately see that I don't have enough oxygens on the left hand side, so I'm going to put a two there. Let's double check. We have one calcium on each side, four hydrogens on each side, two oxygens. It's balanced. Getting more complicated now. I can immediately see that my aluminiums aren't balanced, so I'm going to put a 2 there. We've got issues with chromium because we've got 2 on the left-hand side, only 1 on the right-hand side, so I'm going to put a 2 there. Double check, 2 aluminiums is correct. We've got 2 chromiums, that's correct. 3 oxygens, yeah, that's right. Let's do a final question now involving hydrocarbons. So C8H18 plus O2 forms carbon dioxide and water, so I can see that we've got a complete combustion reaction here. The best thing to do is sort out the carbons first in hydrocarbon equations. We've got eight on the left-hand side, so we need eight here. Now have a look at the hydrogens. We have 18 on the left-hand side, only two on the right-hand side, so I need a big nine there. And now I'll just add up all the oxygens on the right-hand side. So two times eight is 16, plus nine is 25, so we need 25 on the left-hand side. So that means we need 12.5 here. And it's done. Right, I hope you found that video helpful, guys. I'll be back soon with another video. Don't forget to check out my balancing equations video if you need help with the methodology behind this.